Welcome back to another video. This will be a follow up for my previous video. So within that, we position the mannequin within this racing simulator. And now we are going to see how we can compute a rich envelope. So this feature will be available over here within the human builder workbench and will be included within the mannequin tools. So this will be the envelope. In order to draw the envelope, we need to select. So I cannot select directly the mannequin as we can see over here within the product list. And um, if I will try, for example, to select uh, the head of the mannequin, we're going to see that this will be an invalid uh, input. So we can only select segments on hand or feet that can be used. So, for example, for the hand, I will select the hand position on the gear shifter over here. And we're going to see that we can um, do various uh, formats over here. So we have the physiological maximal, we have the ideal, and we have the extended with upper body. I will go initially for the ideal position. And we can specify if you want for both uh, sides over here, or only for the selected, in this case, left hand. I will go just with that, with the ideal setup. And we're going to see that the envelope will actually be a surface. And this will be the ideal region for the user hand to move. So in this case, as we can see, that will be positioned um, and overlapped towards this half of the steering wheel. But as we can see, the buttons over here are not quite in reach. We can also verify the, the reach. If I will go over here on inverse kinematic framework, I will select the mannequin hand. And we're going to see that in this position, this is just um, at the edge of his uh, reach envelope. If I will try to move the hand over here, when we're going to see the object in um, yellow, that means it is no longer out of reach. For example, we're going to see that uh, the mannequin hand will not reach those uh, those buttons. So he will also have to move the, the torso in this case. One workaround would be to position the chair a little bit closer. And we did that within the previous um, video. Now, let's check out uh, the other envelopes. So again, for the same hand, I will now go for the physiological maximal. And we're going to see that this envelope will be higher. The mannequin can also reach elements at the top. In some cases, in some, um, some machineries and uh, even some cars, the mannequin will also have some, um, some buttons that he can press on the top. But we see again that uh, this will be the maximum uh, for the hand. If I will do another computational reach, and uh, now I will go for the extended with upper body, again for the left side, we're going to see that the envelope will be a little bit uh, higher. So if you're going to check the documentation for this, we have it over here. So the reach envelope, we have it over here. So the ideal short, we see that uh, this envelope will be drawn like this. So we have 60 degrees all the way to the middle. And uh, it will be mirror on the other side. We have the physiological maximal 90% reach envelope, which is 90%. And this will have a 90 degree angle over here. We see those case study. And we have the one that we just added, which we see that uh, this has been increased by an allowance of 20% to take the motion of the upper body spine into account. So we see that, uh, that reach envelope. Currently, I only had this set for the left hand, but uh, we can do that for, uh, for both hands. Now, when I try to do that input, I actually selected the envelope. So in order to have that redrawn, I will need to select the hand over here for both sides extended. And now we're going to have that reach envelope. If you want, we can also do the same for the for the feet. 
So we're gonna go on the reach. Even though over here on the on the icon we have a hand, that will also work on the mannequin feet over here. So for example, range of motion set to current. I will click OK, and we're gonna see. This is the envelope where um, the mannequin can move his leg. So in some conditions, for example, over here, it's quite uh, quite odd that we have that envelope position all the way there. Because if I will try to move that, let me just um, have a view on that, uh, that feet. So I will need to hide some of the envelopes because I won't be able to do that. So hide that, hide that as well. And now we have this heat envelope, which I can also hide this one as well. And we're going to see that the mannequin can move his leg, but we see that within a sitting position, this will be an unavailable option. So we see that the feet will also be over here in yellow because this will be the maximum allowance for that. If I will move it like this, somewhere over here is still an impossible um, movement. So keep that in mind when you are um, designing this. So this should be the maximum allowance if you want that to be inclined like that. So this was enough of you regarding envelope creation. If you will hide those and you want to have them visible again, you can always go to the swap visible space and you're going to have those over here. So we have this one. I can go within properties and we see that this will be the left leg reach envelope. We have the angular limitations over here. And if you want to have this displayed, you can just hide and show it over here swap back and you will have it positioned. So I hope that you find this video useful. I will position a similar video to the left. I will add this to the Katia V5 tips and tricks. So there are currently over 154 videos in that playlist. And I will also add a subscribe button. So that's it. Thanks for watching.